What is up, you guys? It is Miss Sim Reno. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you are brand new, I am very excited that you decided to join me here today for another speed build. And though we are still on our eco lifestyle kick, we actually left Evergreen Harbor to expand our horizons a bit. We're going to try out these objects in a totally different build, totally different world, see how it goes think it went okay. <laughs> so as you can tell from the title of this video, this is kind of like a mid-century eco home. And the word luxury, I want to make sure I like have to find here. So it's not like these items that are in the home or the home itself is exceptionally expensive, but I thought having this lot near the river with this kind of home and the eco upgrades that it does have, I figured it was a little bit more luxurious. Like I was picturing this basically glass house in the woods. That's kind of what I was picturing. I mean, granted, I did use the new metal wallpaper or siding, paneling, whatever. For the exterior, there are just tons of glass windows, like big glass windows that let in a lot of sunlight, where maybe like there's a lot of solar power being harnessed. And I don't know, it just seemed like a very luxurious home to actually have. It is reasonably small, so it is only a one bedroom, one bathroom home. And I was actually picturing that it was for maybe like a retired couple that went and just built their own like sustainable home in the middle of Windenburg, like in the countryside. And this is basically where they're going to live out the rest of their days. And I really liked that idea. I liked the idea of the older generation wanting to ensure that they're giving back to their planet. I don't know where that motivation came from, but I'm rolling with it. And I hope you guys like it too. But as you can see, I tossed up some solar panels on the roof and there is that little green patch on the roof. I believe that's where I end up putting the wind turbines. So there isn't actually access up there, which I'm now realizing might be an issue because you can upgrade and I'm assuming repair the wind turbines if they break, if they have that ability. So if something happens to them, the Sims wouldn't be able to access that portion of the roof. And what I'm thinking now in hindsight is adding a ladder onto that back part. Now for elders, not very ideal. I don't know how many elders would be able to just climb a ladder like that. But in The Sims, you can do it. So you know what? We're just going to roll with it. <laughs> but the first thing I did is I wanted to ensure that I got the landscaping out of the way. And I wanted it to blend in with the world around it. And I wanted it to be a little bit overgrown in the front. So they have like a little bit of privacy. Because with all of those glass windows, like super exposed. Granted, they're not really uh, near their neighbors, so it doesn't really matter. But I feel as though you could feel really vulnerable with that many just windows glaring into your home. So I want there to be a little bit of shrubbery in the front. I put this kind of like firewood storage off to the side because of the new stove that we got with the Eco Lifestyle Pack. I keep picturing it to be like a wood burning or pellet stove where I actually live. This is exceptionally common in homes that are even just like in the middle of cities. So that is something I'm very familiar with. I don't have one in like my apartment, but it's uh, basically in the house hunting process. We're finding a lot of those. That's where that's coming down to. But we are already on to the interior and this little living space kind of like on the this side of the wall here, this was the inspiration for the whole build. I don't even remember where I saw the picture. It was probably on Pinterest somewhere, but basically it was this beautiful mid-century home and they had like this beautiful stove, you know, wood burning stove, fireplace, something like that, just two armchairs. And it was just open to all of the sunlight. It had brick, it had some paneling. I mean, it was just beautiful. And I thought that this was perfect. So I added some of these new like, iron industrial shelves that we have. And like I've said, those are oddly enough not bookcases, but I do put some clutter items, including one of the smaller bookcases. So it basically functions as one. And I went into the debug menu and I grabbed some logs of wood and put them in this little basket on top of a stool, thinking that that was a wood burning stove. And I thought it was the cutest idea ever. I was so happy I found that item in the debug menu. I think it was categorized under, I think it was outdoor retreat. So it came with that pack and we had those logs of wood and I thought it was such a nice little detail to kind of add because otherwise it's just a fireplace, right? And now I'm kind of picking out some pieces of artwork to put on the other sides of the fireplace because it did look a little bit barren. And oddly enough, I did not have to use the OMSP shelf to put this flower there. That's actually a slot on the fireplace, which is so freaking cool and I'm wondering why they forgot the slot on that lamp that came with, um, what's it called? A tiny living. 
<laughs> that's my question but i also use these new chairs that we got with the eco lifestyle pack as well as the table those chairs are to me so retro and i adore them i really like them in just the brown swatch i don't really like the other swatches too much they're a little too bright i think the green would probably work in some cases but just not my preference <laughs> and now i'm working on the kitchen so it is kind of like a longer galley kitchen however since this floor plan is a little different i think than a lot of my other builds it worked really nicely and there's still a lot of functional space to kind of move around in and of course they have space to actually cook on a countertop even though i clutter a few of them up so they do have a microwave and a coffee maker and then there's just some other miscellaneous clutter that i end up adding to some of the countertops and since they are out in the countryside of Windenburg, I thought that those pieces of artwork were really applicable because it's like a terrain map and like kind of like this outdoorsy photo. It almost looks like a promotional photo for like Granite Falls, but I thought it was really nice. And then I add the old time kind of like record vinyl player, whatever it is that came with Get Famous. And I put some artwork and whatnot on this little shelf here, including the new stack of canvases we got. They're absolutely beautiful and I will use them in many builds to come, but I just kind of clutter up the shelf a little bit just to give some decorations. I put that basket there because I thought it was like a blanket basket. So when they're sitting there by the fire, they could just like wrap themselves up in cozy little blankets. And oh my gosh, it almost makes me want winter. I don't even like winter, but I want to wrap up in a little blanket near a fireplace. It sounds so nice. <laughs> and, and now I move on to the bathroom, which isn't exceptionally exciting. It is kind of like a more modern bathroom and it is very black and white. It's also, it also has this weird window. Um, that window is really, really nice and I really like it, but it is really odd. And I think in the bathroom, it barely worked. I don't know. I might actually remove it before I upload it to the gallery. I might just make it like a big glass window and just put curtains to ensure that there's privacy, but I don't really know. You guys will have to let me know what you think. And then I work on the bedroom, which I thought was really nice. I do kind of put these base game panels up here because these windows are a bit longer and it just kind of prevents all of the sunlight from leaking in. But I think this room still gets a lot of really nice natural light. And basically they just have a couple of side tables with some lamps and a dresser. They don't have like a desk or anything with a computer. I really don't think that they're too into technology. I mean, they still have like their vinyl record player, right? They don't even have a TV in this house. I think they're very much outdoorsy sims, so maybe they spend a lot of time outdoors. And they also just spend a lot of time enjoying one another's company, which I thought was a really sweet idea for an older couple that maybe they've lived their life and they've raised a couple of kids and they don't really work anymore and, you know, that kind of stuff. Since well, retired would indicate that, right? That they don't work anymore duh but this is actually pretty much it for the bedroom i just kind of cluttered up a little bit and add a few more clutter items to the tables and the kitchen and whatnot and then i have the entire front porch to actually decorate which may it, it like might be my favorite part of the whole build i haven't really decided because that living space with the little like wood burning stove and everything is just that is that is a dream of mine i would love to be in a house like that and I forgot I did give them a TV. I totally did. But they have like one of the little antenna ones. So <laughs> clearly they haven't upgraded their technology in a very, very long time, which I really liked that idea. And I also kind of swap out the lighting a bit too, because I always use those saucer lights to kind of build in and build with because they provide really, really good light. But usually before I upload builds to the gallery, I change out the lights. And now I'm working on the outside seating area. So I feel like this retired couple either has like family or friends over very, very often, but they also spend a lot of time outside and enjoying nature. And I wanted to make kind of like this little sitting area where maybe they more so entertain company, but then there's another sitting area, obviously right next to it on this porch, that just kind of faces out towards the dirt road leading to their home. And I felt that that was kind of more so where they relaxed compared to when they relaxed with friends or family. But of course it could be either, it doesn't really matter. But that is actually pretty much almost it for the build. It was a rather quick one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I can't wait to hear your thoughts and I'll catch you guys next time I post a video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Had a few kids, bought a new house, promised you heaven but it never did work out. Got a new job and moved uptown. I bought you everything you never questioned why. All this
Driving